All right, here's the parts list for building the front sight post gauges. The vendor is McMaster Car. You need to order three items. This is the center transfer punch. There's the part number, 3374A15. Then the two tubes, the 3 8 outside diameter, that's the inner tube that slides through the outer tube. You need to order a three foot section of that. Part number 899-55K729. The outer tube, you need to also order a three foot section. Part number 899-55K one three eight all right let's take a look over here now i have built three gauges you don't have to build all three this first one is for carbine length integrated fixed carry handle so unless you have one of those kind of guns you don't need to build the first one the second one is the one you may want to build it will work with uh virtually most applications you'll run into as far as uh, carbine length, mid-length, uh, rifle length, up to 16 inch barrels. If you've got a barrel that's 18 to 20 inches, then you wanna build a third gauge. This one will reach all the way out to a 20 inch barrel. All right, all three of these are used with a stripped carry handle. So you have to take the carry handle and strip the rear side off so that the outer tube can snap into it like that all right so the lengths on the carbine length fixed carry handle gauge the shortest one the inner tube that has the transfer punch is 11 and a half inches the outer tube is 12 inches all right for the intermediate gauge the inner tube with the punch is 19 and a half inches and the outer tube is 18 inches so it's actually shorter so by having it slightly shorter you you will have it extended out the end and you can use it as a telescoping rod all right if you're going to build the extra long one i call it the all-in-one the tube with a punch is cut 28 inches and the outer tube is only cut 23 inches that allows you to use it as a telescoping rod. Now you can use this setup on any gun other than a fixed integrated carry handle carbine length. So I would recommend building this one. However, if you do have one of these guns, then you should build this one because you can build both of these out of the same three foot section of tubing. If you build the middle one or the, uh, the larger one, you're gonna need to buy more tubing. All right, so this will kind of give you the lengths. All right, when you go to put the punch in, this hole is a perfect interference fit for the punch. It, it'll slide in and it may even be tight, but you want to glue it in with Loctite. So this is what the punch looks like inside. You want to glue it in with Loctite 620, which is a uh, type of compound that I believe it expands, but red or blue octide would probably work just fine as well. It needs to be exactly a half an inch protrusion. All right, so if you're looking at this drawing, it's a half an inch from where the tip starts back to the edge of the inner tube. All right, by using a very small transfer punch, you'll have no problems with it clearing the bunny ears or hitting the bottom of the front side base. All right, so when you get this tube and you wanna cut it, these lengths ain't gotta be exactly perfect. Uh, I would suggest getting a new hacksaw blade, 32 tooth. And then you wanna get a uh, file, so file the ends nice and smooth. You can look through this tubing and see how pretty it is. I mean, it's, it's really nice inside. It looks like the inside of a cylinder of a, of a motor. Okay, so then you want to file them nice and smooth and pretty. And then I blacken the ends using cold blue. I just dip it down into the cold blue bottle and turn the ends nice and black. But you want to make sure you clean that out good before you go to lock tight in the punch on the end. All right, we're almost at five minutes. If you have any questions, leave a comment.